The world's oceans are under threat. Pollution from untreated sewage, runoff from agricultural fertilizers and acid rain from vehicle and factory emissions is starving the oceans of oxygen. Overfishing and the use of destructive techniques such as drag netting is robbing the oceans of life. Marine biologists have identified just a fraction of what lives beneath the surface of the oceans, yet species are being lost at an alarming rate. Coral reefs are known as the rainforests of the sea, full of variety and teeming with life. Yet these corals are not from the warm waters of the Caribbean or the Indian Ocean. They are found in cold waters, around 5 to 7 degrees centigrade, and they're off the coast of Norway. Almost unknown until recently, cold water corals can be found throughout the world and rival their warm water cousins in structural complexity and size. One chain of cold water corals stretches from Norway to the coast of Africa, longer than the Australian Great Barrier Reef. Advances in underwater exploration techniques, such as the use of submersible vehicles, have opened up the deeper ocean waters. Scientists are now able to take detailed living samples and video recordings of this previously unseen world. Here we see for one of the first occasions a cold water coral reef thriving in the cold northeast Atlantic on the Norwegian shelf. These corals build reefs in total darkness and occur in depths mostly around 400 meters down to 1,300 meter water depths, which is quite unusual for coral reefs to exist. Growing extremely slowly, cold water coral reefs can be up to 8,500 years old and are thought to play a vital role as home and nursery for many predominantly long-lived species. These include a number of fish with high commercial value, such as orange ruffy, redfish, Pacific cod, monkfish and ling. However, it's these fish that attract the deep-sea trawlers that in turn end up destroying the reef on which they depend. As we're just starting to understand the distribution and the functioning of these ecosystems, we also document well, the impacts of human activities and mostly by mobile fishing gear like trawls or dredges. And the nets are held open by special beams each weighing four to five tons and they really plow over these vulnerable coral colonies and wipe them out completely. One surprising finding was the amount of cold water corals present in tropical waters, deep in the ocean where light and therefore heat cannot so easily penetrate. However, it's estimated that 95% of cold water corals still remain to be discovered, and with them many new species currently unknown to science. We found not only new corals, we also found associated organisms like snails and clams that were believed to be extinct by paleontologists two million years ago, but we found them alive, several of the same species crawling around and grazing on the coral, so that was really a surprise, and we expect many of these surprises uh, in the future if we undertake more scientific missions, and that underpins also the message that we still do not even know how many species are living there and what is their functional role within the cold water coral ecosystem.